This is Chad and Dalton, and today we got our youngest member of the team, Shay, with us. Um, we're going to go through the showrooms and shop, talk about some of these cars, um, and Shay's going to show us that the younger generation still loves these classic cars. Also looks like Murph's going to be joining Murph, us today. what do you think? Are we going to check out these cool muscle cars today, buddy? Poor Murph, I fired him a couple weeks ago, put him on a sabbatical because he found some dead fish at the neighbor's yard, so <laughs> he's been staying home, but we brought him back today. Um, a lot of neat stuff lined up in the showroom. 79 Z28 Camaro sitting next to a 79 Trans Am. Um, love both these cars, both just great, low mileage. Yeah, super nice, Dalton. Um, and then the, as we go through, the prices for these cars will be in the video right here. Um, and then the ones that we don't have priced yet, um, it'll say that on there as well. But. Couple new cars that just came in, uh, 1957 uh, Corvette four speed. Uh, hasn't even been checked in yet or detailed. Um, we kind of featured this one last week, but uh, just haven't got to uh, get it in the shop yet. Shay, tell us, when, when we first got this thing off, you were pretty excited. Tell us a little bit about the 57 yeah, Corvette. Yeah, I about lost it. These Corvettes, especially this C1 generation, are some of my absolute favorite cars ever built. They're just absolutely beautiful in every sense of the word. And 57 is also pretty special because that's the first year that a V8 was standard um, because you had the regular straight six that was introduced in 1953, and then that was standard from 53 to 55, and then you got an optional V8 and 55 afterwards, but once starting in 57, that's when the Corvette really became America's sports car because you didn't really have that lethargic straight six anymore. So Very this nice. is when the Corvette really became its own thing. Very cool. And that kid's 18 years old, by the way, but I think he's read about probably every old car magazine there is. This T-Bird's another super quality car. Rotisserie done. Two four barrels on there. Um, I had a guy come in, uh, Pat Baltus came in on Friday, tuned about uh, four of our dual quad tri-power cars, just got them all in sync so these things just fly down the road, man. Sometimes you got to bring in a little extra help for some of these uh, high-powered classics, yeah, Especially right? when you start getting into you know, six packs and, yeah. and uh, all that kind of stuff. This Challenger is just breathtaking, and it's gonna be so cool because we have, uh, this 72 is gorgeous show car. We have a 71 black 440 RT clone coming in with white interior. Uh, you'll see that next week, and then a 1971 blue convertible. That you're gonna see a little bit later in this video if you stick All around. All three of them are gonna be lined up here uh, later in the week, side by side It's gonna be side. It's gonna be so cool. I love these E-bodies, and seeing them all lined up three at a time, you really don't see that, so I'm really excited. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mustang convertible, that's an awfully nice car. We did our walk around and test drive on that last week. And then uh, these two cars you seen last week as they first came in, now they're ready to go. Um, and we're gonna be doing our final video of these. Yeah, they turned out, they turned out stunning, both of them. Yeah, the guys did a ton of work to, to get these ready. It's got show quality paint from bumper to bumper. Um, not crazy about the weld wheels, so we're putting on some American Racing Torque Thrust, raised white letter tires. I'm um, gonna go ahead and put a new Rosewood steering wheel on it as well. Hey, this is Mike at Coyote Classics, and today I got a 69 Camaro in my bay. We're getting it checked in. Um, Dane just finished painting and spackling this trunk, and that looks fantastic. Right now he's working on getting the carpet cleaned up, and uh, he'll get that dyed black again. It's a little bit faded. You've seen us do that before a couple of times. And up here, I've been working on things under the engine bay, new fuel filter, uh, replaced some of the training lines, put a new alternator in it. I've got to work on the exhaust a little bit. And then when that's all said and done, I'm going to give this one a buff. And it's going to be a nice looking car, I think. Sure runs good. I'm a huge fan of that Olds right there, that 69 Cutlass uh, Hearst Olds Tribute. If you were to line one of the original Hearst Olds cars up with that one, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Every single detail, detail right down to the decals is absolutely spot on. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful original car. original 442, 455 yes. convertible as well. Uh, the 70 Chevelle probably broke some hearts. This one did not last long. It's been a day since um, they walked through with the camera and uh, took the Wednesday video. So we're just gonna try and update you on what's going on. Uh, I've had this Chevelle in here for about, about 24 hours of full work day or so. I've gotten a whole lot done with it. Um, figured out we need a alternator for it. Mark is gonna rebuild the chrome case one for me. So it'll still be nice and shiny and we like that. 
I've been doing a lot of wiring underneath the dash, fixing all kinds of things, getting gauges working, lights working. Over here, Timmy pulled this Mustang in this morning. Um, he <laughs> it was funny when he uh, took it for a test drive, he pulled it in and he looked at me and he said, I don't think we need to check this one in. And I asked him why. He says, I think I want to buy it. Yeah, coming from a guy that's only ever had Chevys just about his whole life, he sure does love this Mustang. All right, so I'm working on the 70 Chevelle today, getting this ready for the web. Um, really didn't have to do a whole lot more to, to this car here other than just the same uh, power washi underneath and do the wheels, tires, and motor. Um, little Jay helped me here. Uh, yeah. Wipe some material stuff down, help me do the wheels. There was a problem with the aluminum valve covers though. There's a lot of water spots and it was really hard to get off. But we managed to make it look better and tighten it up and that's about it. Put it on at six o'clock. Uh... Um, I think it was on a Thursday night, yep, and Friday morning about 9 o'clock, a very nice couple from uh, Missouri came in. Um, me and him took it for a test drive, and we both fell in love with it at that time. It is a fantastic driver. Some of these don't last too long. Um, another one that Pat finally got the six-pack tuned up and it's you know, ready to drive today as well is the 70 Charger. We've said a lot about that car. It's just super nice, very well restored. You need to have a video, man. Yeah. That's the problem with it. Nice Mustang, four speed, runs and drives fantastic. We also got about two or three other coupes that'll be coming in here. Um, they're about fly out the door as fast as they come in. Wouldn't be a classic car dealer without a few 40s cars. The old 47 Merck Street rod with ice cold air. You're backing up right now into a 1964 <laughs> yep. tri power GTO. Who put that, that looks there? fantastic yeah. right here in this spot, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a cool car. Let's jump out front quick and let's look, look at that. All right. Black Nova. Murph, you coming? No, Murph's gonna stay. Oh, no, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, he's out. He's going <laughs> to the neighbors to find that fish again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This one, uh, Jay just finished cleaning. We're gonna photo and video this today. Look under Holy the hood, though, cow. first. That's... You wanna pop the hood, Shay? Yes, I can. <sighs> Look at that. Super and doesn't this run on E85? Yeah, 100% E85, 540 horse, 540 foot-pounds of torque in this monster. And I love the Nova SS stripe. It, and this is a factory SS car. Yes, it K -code. is. K-Code. K-Code. Wow. Yeah, all new updated suspension, rear end. I mean, this thing drives as good as it looks. As we get into the second showroom, we got all kinds of stuff lined up in here as well. These two Chevelles will make great cars for people. Um, both run and drive awesome. That blue one's a lot of fun. Fast, sounds good. Really straight, marina blue. You can't, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, kind of an Olympic gold, bright red. I mean, 68, 9, 71. We got a 72 orange one coming in as well. And, and we just sold a 70, right? So we had the whole lineup from 68 to 72 right there. Shay really likes that Buick. He said I'm a huge fan of this Buick. I mean, this is something that you really don't see every day, and at this price point, it's pretty tough to beat because it's a 67 Skylark. It's got 52 or 54,000 original miles. Um, it's got the numbers matching 340 cubic inch V8. You really don't see stuff like this, and it runs and drives just absolutely fantastic. You're not going to be, it's like stepping back into 67. Definitely. The neat thing, if Shay could pick anyone for his daily driver, I bet he'd pick that yeah, one. Yeah, I, I was telling Dalton the other day, if that something like that would be my dream all daily these driver. cool cars, you're going to pick the Skylark. Well, I mean, it's just practical. It's big, it's got a big trunk, it's great, oh. and it's got style. Yeah. Uh, big <laughs> back seat. Big I'd back seat. I'd probably pick the GTO, but that's just yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice car as well. Another low mileage survivor. That pickup. Yes. I drove that again yesterday. It drives fantastic. It's just super hard to beat. Real solid, cold air. Of course, we got our 57. Everyone's heard that thing. That thing's got a wicked sound. Holy cow. It might, that Nova and this 57 might have a little rev off competition. <laughs> they both sound really good. That'd be fun. 
I take the Nova in a race though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got a beautiful lineup of uh, new inventory that uh, Chad's been out hunting for. And then we got some of the shop that we'll get to as well. But um, this little Mustang, we bought it, you know, just knowing that it was an A-code Mustang, real quality car. But when Shay was writing the description, we kind of went through and, and decoded a bunch of stuff on it and found out it's a real GT. Yeah, I was going through it and I was like, all right, this is another first gen Mustang. I was a, a little bit worried that it was just a, like another GT clone. And of course, they all look great, but uh, I was going through it and I was like, everything lines up. Like even in the trunk, when you open the trunk, you've got like a little, um, it's like a frame rail, but it's got like a little hole where you're able to feel it. And it's like a kind of a U shape. And what that was is that it had like a different support bar that would support the GT dual exhaust. So that's extremely hard to fake. Now and, when you, into the frame. Yeah, and when you feel into the frame, you'll be able to feel that. And so that's how you know you got a real GT. And that's one of the, the real surefire indicators. Say you also went ahead and decoded the steering gear. That's right. I did decode the steering, steering gear. Um, factory front disc brake car, no power brakes, but it's got front disc brakes on the radiator support here. That should always be punched like this one is if it was a real GT. And that's what kind of sets this one apart from the rest, which is really, really cool. Um, a lot How of these- How cool is this? Not to interrupt you, Shay, no, don't but you don't see these very often, do you? No. Factory vinyl top, everything checked out exactly yeah. like it was supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, you did mention something that the engine was changed. That's right. It's got a 302 from a 91 through 95 uh, Mustang GT. It punches right. out a little bit more power, and man, this thing really sounds great. Yeah, it's cool. Still got the polycarb on it. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Mm -hmm. And those, they're, they're rare, too. Not many 66 GTs were made. They're hard to, hard to prove, but when you got all, this, all the signs that this one does, um, it's what it is. I'm really keen on this one right here. 1971 Pontiac Le Mans Sport. Uh, we have a ton of pictures showing it uh, stripped to bare metal. Um, guy restores about one car a year. He did this one a couple years ago, drove it, enjoyed it, and uh, now, is, now sold it. So Interior's Bucket nice. seats, um, council, air conditioning works, blows ice cold. Just a really nice, good looking car. This is another pretty special Mustang factory Q code Cobra Jet car. It's got the Ram Air, power windows, beautifully restored. Probably one of the nicest ones that uh, that a guy's gonna find. You wanna pop the hood, Shay? Yes. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorite Mustangs we've had in quite a while. power windows? Yeah, and the guys started checking it in yesterday, so they have this other door panel off. But what I like is you can see, while well, they have that off, look at the paint. You know, everything was taken apart, painted. Um, I think they're fixing the power window on that yeah. side, but. Yep. Underneath all just rust-free, perfect as well. Very, very nice. Yeah, check that out. I mean, wow. when we seen this one, we just had to have it. It's probably one of the nicer or nicest 73. I know it's one of the nicest 73 Mustangs on the market. And like you said, 351 Cobra Jet, Ram Air, Air. It's got it all. Yeah. Got Fully really loaded from the factory, too. It's got power windows, even. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. Sitting right beside it is just a fastback, but this is a 347 Stroker. Um, just a fast car, and the paint is excellent on it. A uh, little different shade of red. It's got aluminum heads on this one, Dalton. Headers, power steering and brakes, aluminum radiator. Just a nice fastback, huh? So no matter if you want a, a real, you know, very highly original, stockly restored car like the one to our left, or if you want a fast, fun, good-looking car. Look how car. crap comes in, though. Look at this. Yeah. Yep. So it needs a I new mean, battery and end, yeah. so you can do that. I mean, it's just... This one just came in. We're gonna go through it, check it in. Obviously, new battery, hold down, all that kind of stuff. How this hard is, is this to find? Yeah. How many are out there? I mean, you just don't see a, no. a 71 convertible very often. Uh, I did order the rear spoiler and the front chin spoilers for it. We're gonna set that ass end down a little bit, give it a little better stance, but uh, the paint is show quality. Uh, I'm gonna open the hood. Yes, I can. Paint show quality, white top, white interior, buckets console. I drove this one yesterday, right? We haven't checked it in yet, but it uh, goes down the road excellent. It's got a little brake problem, pulls to the right, a couple rattles that we got to try to figure out, but yeah. all in all, good car. Yep. And so these, these cars that we've showed you outside, they're not priced yet. We still have to run them through our shop, you know, do our thing to them, um, and then they'll be priced enough on the site, but. Really quality. Yeah, it paints just, beautiful. Just a 318, um, but it does have power steering and it drives great. And you know what? This little 318's got plenty of power. Yeah. And again, just you never see these uh, convertibles. No, an e-body of any shape is extremely desirable in pretty much any condition. Michael and Tim are checking in a couple other new inventory. Chad, kind of walk us through these a little bit. You know these cars better than I. I was super excited to find this one here. 1965 Impala Supersport. 
Um, really nice car, just a beautiful driver. But you kind of went right to the gusto here, Dalton. You kind of just, I was trying to get build this up. Pretend a like you didn't see that and we'll okay. show it again. All right. But we have a 409 with dual quads. And look, air conditioning that blows ice cold, all new compressor, all new lines, everything. The best of both worlds, power and air conditioning. Um, goes down the road fantastic. And uh, just a really good car, driver quality paint, but a beautiful look. Yeah, and love the 65 Impalas. Why don't you peek your head just a little bit into this interior? You can tell it's older, possibly original, but the turquoise and white dash and carpet and uh, beautiful headliner, seat covers, everything like that. When this gets cleaned up, this is gonna be a great car and it's not a $60,000 one. So yeah. it's gonna be in that nice driver quality, but you still got all the cool shit and the way it looks. Ten four. It's also got something you don't really see very often on these uh, uh, 65 Impalas or any Impalas in general. It's got a working vacuum gauge that yeah. measures the vacuum in the, in the lines, which is something that you really don't see very often, especially much less one that actually works. So that's a pretty cool option to have. That's what he's talking about right there. Yeah, that is really cool. I noticed that when we first took it for a test drive. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know why, but we just don't get many 65 Impalas in, period. I don't know what happened to all of them. Uh, this is a really nice little 67 Mustang. Tim just got it done, got it checked in. Front disc brakes, we love the wheels and tires. Uh, when it came in, I drove it, it drives excellent. You know, we got it in, changed oil. Um, Timmy, you want to kind of give us a little rundown here, buddy, and tell us what y'all did to this little coupe? Well, battery cable, changed oil in it, fixed some uh, rear window on the driver's side. Mm -hmm. Just kind of went through it. Fixed the horn, you see yeah, the steering wheel off. Too, yeah. the steering column was slid down so it wasn't making contact with the steering wheel, so I had to slide that up. Okay. Very nice. And it's ready to be detailed and ready for a customer. Oh yeah, power steering brakes, radi aluminum radiator. It's a really good car. Yeah, she looks great. Love the color combo too with the white interior. Good work, Timmy. Thanks, you guys. What's Big J and Little J know today? <laughs> well, we're just getting ready Polishing the old Mustang up today. Polishing the old Mustang. Yeah. Are you excited about this one? Or? Mm, it's got nice wheels on it. It's got, I like the black stripe. Cool. Find anything right? I like the, I like the So, let me get this right. Stay by side each other. You're Big J. Yep. Just little He's J. Little J. <laughs> this is Little J, but he's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Jay's he's was, part of the Big J's detail crew. Yep. Now, Jay's trained every one of your sons now. Me, Ryan. Yeah. Yep. But he was texting. He was snapping right, Ryan said yeah. last night. You guys snap, or you guys are like this. Uh, I'm showing the tiki bar. <laughs> tiki bar, right? I like the tiki bar. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we got an ace for this Yo. guy, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't have one yet. Come on, Jay. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, Little Jay. Oh, Pearl. Pearl? Pearl. Yeah. Pearl? I like Pearl. 70 Mustang. Yeah. Pearl. Yeah. All right. What do we got on the engine? 396 up there. Marks, we just got this engine rebuilt for that black one. Okay. All new cam, lifters, heads, everything is redone. Um, didn't do anything with the bottom end. Bottom end all looked good, so gonna get that put together. Um, 65 Galaxy, I think everyone's kind of hiding out or heading to dinner or something, but um, 65 Galaxy put a new gas tank in it. It's ready to roll. It's gonna head out to the new customer here probably at the end of the week. Got a couple coming to look at the, the Chevelle today, possibly drive it home. So Justin's just doing our sold checkout on it. It's going through, wow. checking it over good for it possibly goes out. We noticed one tire was going down a little bit, so we took that off this morning, took it to the uh, tire shop, going to get that fixed and give it a quick tune-up so it can make the trip home to, uh, I think, Missouri. Wisconsin. Kansas? Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Yeah. Hell, yeah. oh, I thought it was heading south. <laughs> no. All right. Going east. It's warm out here today. Oh God, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. What a fun week. Yeah, we've really accomplished a lot this week, Dalton. Um, the guy's been working hard. Uh, last week we sold 10 cars here. So that put a lot of cars and a lot of pressure on the few guys in the back doing all these sold cars. And uh, man, they rose to the occasion. Brant was on vacation. So we had two guys doing all this work back there. Um, the guys checking in cars, kicked ass also. So real proud of the team this week.
Anyway, so uh, this is gonna wrap up uh, today's uh, Wednesday video here at uh, Coyote Classics. I'm gonna check out, it's about 11 o'clock. I have an 11.30 appointment to look at a 1959 Corvette convertible. Won a lot of best, best of shows. I'm super excited about that. Maybe you'll see it here next week. Sounds good. Shay, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I just, that's the first I know about this 59 Corvette here. I can't tell you everything, dude. I can't tell you everything. Or we won't get nothing done. You'll be too excited about something, all right? Yeah. All right, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, check back next week to watch this inventory as it goes through the shop. Um, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss, never miss another car, another video. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.